Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia and in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real-life situations in Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, culture or whatever interests you. And today I'm really angry and disappointed and maybe more vulnerable than usual because, well, you all know, because uh, of massive uh, missile attacks on Ukraine and there were many of them, maybe more than ever since the start of this war. And of course, I'm really sorry for people who were injured and people who died, uh, destroyed houses, danger of just living in uh, a capital or elsewhere because every piece of Ukrainian land is dangerous now. But uh, it made me think of all these things. We talk so much about bullying. We pay so much attention to that at schools, uh, the offices, and it is all very correct, but it all does not work. Because what Russia does today with the world, it bullies the world. When I named this vlog, I have chosen war in Ukraine. But many times I thought it's not the perfect name because it's not Ukrainian war. And many news use this term, Ukrainian war. No, it is Russian war, Russian aggression. Now it is on the territory of Ukraine, but it can spread. Because Putin and his regime, they play gamble with the world, with the international rules. They ignore everything and uh, nothing happens and uh, well all the world knows that today from the territory of Belarus and from the territory of Russia hundreds of missiles were targeted on the territory of Ukraine everyone knows in the civilized world that Ukraine does not have secret bio laboratories that Covid did not come from our uh, hospitals or this basis that we are really far away even now from NATO. We need NATO, but we were really far away and NATO did not plan to attack Russia. We don't have Nazis, we have a Jewish president and everybody knows everything. But when this happens, nothing changes. When Russia hits this rockets, missiles, weapons, everybody says, well, it is not okay, but uh, thank you for help, thank you for weapons, thank you for understanding. But this has become a global problem. Russia is a global danger. Once again, I had a vlog somewhere at the beginning about the dangers of the th Third World War and so on. In the head of Putin, he had already started this Third World War. And maybe not even this February, but in 2014, when he annexed Crimea, when he took the territory of Donetsk and Luhansk regions and proclaimed them republics, so-called republics. When he uh, took the territory of Georgia and all of that were signals, the very strong signals that something really wrong is happening in Russia. And what is more interesting, the world for decades knew that communism is dark. We had Cold War. Lots of normal countries were hidden behind the Iron Curtain. So everybody knew that actually evil exists. And if it exists, it exists in regimes like the Soviet, like other communists or totalitarian regimes. So everyone knew that. Now, in that country that inherited all, all of the Soviet weapons with all of the Soviet um crazy ideas on the territory of that country a dictator rules for 22 years so it is already a problem i cannot imagine that somehow in france we have a president for 22 years or in germany perhaps all the other countries in the european union or elsewhere would say it's a red flag it's a red flag it's a dictatorship we have to do something in russia it is okay and people like Angela Merkel helped Putin to become a figure in uh, European, in global politics. And the attitude to Russians is always like that. Well, they are bullies, way, way, they are hooligans, they are criminals, 
but they are so big we have to accept it then why do we have this like classes at school that bullying is bad if on the level on the global level uh we accept it we accept thousands of people innocent people killed in a country that is normal that was civilized that had infrastructure that did not threaten anyone that was not working on diseases that did not have nuclear powers uh nothing and we say well like you cannot angry the bully or whatever putin sees this weakness it is a very similar mistake that was made with hitler's regime and bullies they never understand negotiations or something like that and we have j7 summit we have good news like ukraine is a candidate to the european union we have so many countries that speak for us i mean governments and we have millions if not billions of people who support ukrainians but at the same time russia continues to do whatever it wants i don't see any signs that they have stopped doing something they wanted to they the only things that stop them are ukrainian armed forces and weapons but it all comes with lots of victims and lots of sufferings and my country will be different it will not be like i do like to fantasize and to imagine this normal future new ukraine innovations rebuildings and so on but we will also have lots of people with disabilities lots of people with serious psychological traumas lots of people who died or were injured were wounded lots of people who lost their uh, dreams this will be a very complicated generation in ukraine and just because putin a really old dying dictator a person that was brought up on the tactics of the kgb someone nobody likes in the civilized world but putin does what he wants and he continues doing what he wants and just because he has this nuclear how do you call it box or whatever but he will use it he will use it if he wants it no one in the world can stop him or dictate him you cannot stop a bully when you start closing your eyes or accepting that he beats you he can kill you one day so this is what he does not only to ukraine but to the global society i don't use bad words luckily i don't know many of them in english but this is the way he treats the civilized world and all of this meetings all of these things that he is not allowed to and so on he continues targeting dozens of these missiles on the territory of ukraine and people who were sleeping in kiev did not wake up he uses very primitive missiles for me it's kind of um also difficult to imagine difficult to comprehend that many of these missiles were created in the 60s pretty long ago during the cold war uh when the world was so much alarmed about the dangers of russia now they shoot these missiles and they are very primitive they are really bad and they target they they cannot even be well targeted so they can uh, ruin anything and they don't care they don't care about children they don't care about hospitals they like terrorizing ukrainians and the whole world sees what they do the whole world understands it's wrong but russia does what it wants it continues bullying the world it's not only about ukraine it's about the world and from my perspective honestly the third world war has already started when he putin and people like lavrov or elsewhere uh started saying like we can denounce the independence of lithuania why because we russia what what is that uh all the democratic values freedom of speech all the things like even small nations small cultures are capable of uh, deciding their own future and here we see a bully the largest country in europe and he does whatever he wants because of zones of influence what kind of zones of influence
Isn't that another uh, term from bullying or something? What zone of influence? They are never written. These are just like stereotypes. And you, we all don't like stereotypes about people. We don't like um, prejudices. Why are we, why do we belong to the zone of influence of Russia? And what kind, uh, who belongs to our zone of influence? It does the size decide that? The nuclear weapon, but it's not okay. It cannot be like that. Because then the whole world will become Russia because nobody wanted to provoke them. And uh, thousands of Ukrainians die daily. And you know, mm, I don't like it. I'm a, a kind of strong person, honestly. And some people even don't like it when you come close to me. I'm not just like a kitty cat. And today I was like drinking cola and oh, I felt vulnerable. I hate this feeling. Uh, but what, what is worse, I was not vulnerable because... I did not study well, or I don't work enough, or they don't, I don't take care of my health, or I don't take care of my family, or whatever. I was vulnerable because I'm Ukrainian. You know, I have different bloods mixed in me with the priority, the dominance, dominance of Ukrainian. And I'm Ukrainian. But I, I am vulnerable just because I live here and uh, Russians see my future in a different way. Russians who live worse life, no less, uh, don't have any right to do that. They make me feel vulnerable. And all of my education, English speaking, I don't know, red lipstick does not matter. Because for them, I'm just one of the millions of Ukrainians and they have millions of missiles for Ukrainians. They can erase this territory because this is the territory of their zone of influence. Then why do we have all of these organizations? Why do we spend so much money? Uh, many of you ask me how much money is given, how, do they, how are they spent, but how much money are spent on lots of these international organizations that simply express concerns. They have so many people working, they have so many institutions, branches and so on. And all of that does not work. So let's be honest. Today, maybe I'm emotional, but you have to forgive me. But from how I feel today, uh, global security system does not work. Russia is doing what it wants. And the third world war has already started. I'm not sure when. Maybe with Georgia, maybe with Ukraine in 2014, maybe now. But the violation of all international rules, disrespect to all international leaders and killing innocent people is definitely a warning sign that something like the Third World War is going on. And once again, the decision whether to use or not to use nuclear weapons does not depend on whether we allow to sacrifice Ukraine or not. Moreover, just the contrary. If we allow to sacrifice Ukraine, we allow them to continue. So please forgive my emotions, uh, but these are vlogs. Vlogs are supposed to be personal, and this is how I feel today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving your advice. I know that you are uh, those people who understand how I feel, and I'm talking to you just like to my friends and family. If you like my vlogs and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This gives me more chances to express how Ukrainians feel during this Russian war in Ukraine. And like these videos if you like them. Slava Ukraini!